Hi, I'm Joseph. With so much footage and memories left of my time at ESAP, I just wanted to make another video talking more about what it's like there. I highly recommend the program to anyone interested in engineering, science, or research. They have concentrations in biotech, complex networks, computer graphics, robotics, something else, and my favorite, nanotech. So let's get into it. To start off, Penn is a beautiful campus, and you have the freedom and access to explore most of it. Their libraries are breathtaking. Their open quads are a delight. There's so much to do, so much to see, and there's always a bunch of tour groups, largely from China. They're iconic. Over the summer, it gets a bit hot and humid, so just be prepared. I'll talk more about the off-campus uh, activities in a bit. So about housing. We lived in the high-rises, which were phenomenal. All of ESAP stayed in the same high-rise, the Harrison College House. We had the entire 4th to ninth floor to ourselves, and it was great. There's easy access to laundry, there's easy access to RTAs. We had fridges, furniture, common room, living rooms. Um, and we had an awesome sky lounge. We're not supposed to go up there, but the view was really amazing. And here's a video of my first impression on my room. Ginormous! Look at this. I get a small door. I get this one. But it's pretty damn nice. As for dorm life, it was pretty amazing as well. The RTAs would stay up with us, helping us do work, understanding the lectures, and just having fun with us. There would always be people in the common room to socialize, to have fun with. And if you wanted a quiet common room, you can just always sneak up to different floors. Not sneak up, I'm pretty sure it was allowed. You can go to other floors and still borrow the common rooms. So we played music a lot, had a lot of movie nights, and played a lot of card games. and generally had a great time. My favorite nights were sneaking up to the Dirty It's floor and playing some music and just chatting and getting to know my friends a bit better. The food at Penn is pretty decent. We had breakfast usually, almost always, at the Hill College House dining place or the new College House dining place, depending on which one had more people. But lunch, that's a different story. We ate lunch almost always at the Houston Market and we had these pen cards loaded with money to buy lunch and the Houston Market food was amazing. They had crepes, Mediterranean cuisine, they had sushi, they had burgers, fries, chicken tenders, they had hummus, which my friends got, which were, I don't even know what that is, is that moss? I literally ate, uh, I think, a chicken teriyaki bowl every day with a side order of gyoza. It was so, so, so good. And for dinner, we just ate at the same college house dining places, and it's pretty decent. The thing about the college house dining places is that there's not much variety. It's kind of almost the same thing every day, but you always know what's on the menu at any time. But there's so many other places to eat at Penn. There's fast food chains like Shake Shack, uh, there's food trucks, there's brunch diners, and just so much. My favorite places that we went to eat was Han Dynasty, Honey Grow, and Dim Sum House. So good. I'll leave a list of the food options at Penn, like the food trucks, the restaurants, and um, the reviews and opinions on them uh, in the description below, courtesy of my friend Alice, who worked so hard to compile it. As for you bubble tea lovers, there's definitely places to go. The one that we usually went to was Tito, uh, which was always on way. It, it was just convenient for us to go, and it was pretty good. So moving on to academics, you must be wondering, like, What's the workload like? Do you actually learn stuff? Um, is it hands-on experience or is it like lecture-based? What is it? So I can't speak on behalf of the other concentration, but I can talk about nanotech and it was fun and educational. We spent most of our time at the exclusive Singe Center for Nanotechnology. It's literally one of the coolest buildings on campus by far. 
We had a lot of lectures, often two a day, but they were really interesting. We talked about quantum dots, microfluidics, lithography, and much more. We also had a bunch of amazing guest speakers. We had Professor Jeff Babin come in to talk about intellectual property and entrepreneurship. We had Anup Singe come in to talk about his startup Inamed, which was incredible. And my favorite speakers were Brandon Cao and Ru Jing Jiang. They were MNTSI alums and Penn alums. They worked together on a biotech startup called Avisi Technology that's developing a nanoscale ocular implant to stop blindness in glaucoma patients. Almost every day we had labs as well. It was really hands-on and intense. Here's some videos on it. Uh, once, we get the, once we get the cadmium solution heating up, we'll have the first group. We worked with professors and PhD students, and we applied a lot of what we learned in lectures in real-time, hands-on experiments. We usually spend most of our afternoons in the NanoFab Lab, decked out in our protective suits. Overall, ESAP was definitely an educational experience. I learned so much about nanotechnology as well as the chemistry and physics behind it and that come into play at the nanoscale. Again, I highly recommend it, my friends do. If you have a chance to go, do take it. And near the end of the program, we hosted a poster session in the Nanotech Center for our students, the parents, faculty, and others to just take a look at the work we've done in the past three weeks. It was fun, they gave us stickers, which was a mistake on their part. Now that most of dorm life, housing, food, and academics are explained, let's move on to activities. I had so much fun at ESAP. There are so many activities planned by the RTAs, and we also plan a lot of activities ourselves too. Some of my favorite ones included going to Six Flags. Oh no! Get down! Get down! Smile! Shaking it. Going to Penn's Landing. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Watching a movie at Circa Green. Doing an escape room. <laughs> and visiting Eastern State Penitentiary. But my favorite, favorite moment was getting matching champion hoodies in downtown Philly. <laughs> Shout out to one of our amazing RTAs, Lu Jian, who took us there. Look at how cute my friends and I look in them. At the end of the program, I asked my friends to answer some questions, and one of them was about the program, the experience, and how they liked it. So I hope that helps you if you're deciding whether to apply or whether to go, whatever you need. How was it, the program? I mean, you were into engineering, so I want to hear your take on it. <laughs> Did you just say I was into engineering? I said you weren't. Oh, yeah. um, so like, honestly, like coming here, I feel like the first few days were definitely like the roughest and like, to be honest, like, <laughs> are you laughing at me? Can we start over? No. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I guess the first few days were the most rough and to tell you the truth, like, I think I cried the first day because of the band get lecture because like, oh. I get stressed when I don't understand things and yeah. I was really nervous that I wouldn't be able to understand like this whole course but I think that like having the RTAs and having the support from this friend group that I created around me like really helped me get through this experience and I think that like my like favorite thing from this experience was meeting the people that I met and also like being open to new people and not like people that I would like normally get to interact with especially because they're all like this much more knowledgeable than me in engineering and I think that was a really cool experience getting to work in the lab even though like I feel like I kind of only like really did really basic things and even when um like I had to put like the little like what's it called? I don't know, this little like chip wafer thing like in the circular tube. 
Hi, Hi Dylan. And I literally like couldn't even put it in the like little slit, and I felt so embarrassed. But like that's fine. Um, but overall, yeah, like I think that like meeting the people I met here, like Joseph, Neha, Chloe, Lois, and Jonathan were like an amazing part. And I think that I was really able to open myself up to them, and like these friendships really were a large part of how I got through this camp. And even though like I realized like oh yeah, I'm not interested in engineering, I think that like it's furthered my motivation to like pursue something that I really care about rather than like focusing on like too many different things. Nice. Uh, it's three in the morning. It is three in the morning. Let's go. Hi, I'm Chloe. <laughs> uh, I forgot the question. How was the program? Oh, okay. Um, this program was the first time that I've been to a summer camp as a high schooler and I thought it was a really important memory for me and um, this engineering camp, nanotechnology, really caught my interest. Um, I've never thought of this field before, but now I might consider it in the future. Um, I really liked how I got to do a lot of like hands-on things and like lab procedures, and I worked on my public speech a little bit in this program. And I really loved meeting new people like you and everyone else in this group, and it's a really special place for me. And, Never forget you guys. So, how's the program? Just in general or specifics or whatever you want to delve into? Um, I think it was a pretty fun program. It's, I think, one of my first experiences with nanotechnology, so I thought it was really unique. Um, I also really love the social aspect of it. Like, I think our friend group got really close really quickly, but um, it was really fun like having you guys to talk to and hang out with. Um, like I loved how we made friendship bracelets for each other. So in terms of content, I think it was pretty insightful and I loved the social aspect as well. How was the program? Just briefly. Um, I think the program was very, very good. It was a very, very good experience. So it was very like comprehensive from the academic standpoint. Um, and like the instructors were very, very helpful with that. Um, the RTAs were also really, really cool. Like, Andy over there, <laughs> he's, he's really, really cool, and Francesca and Amy were all really, really cool. Um, I think one of my favorite moments during the program was definitely the first day when I met everybody else, and I remember it was like this really, really awkward group of uh, nerdy kids that we were like introducing each other and judging where we were coming from, and um, it was just great to get to know everybody over these three weeks. Um, I think another one of the moments was walking into the laboratory for the first time and going through the clean room process. Uh, for me, that was really, really fascinating because it kind of brought together um, what I thought was like a very, very, a bigger picture than myself. That was very, very like, encouraging for me throughout the program. Yeah. So, at the end of the program, I kind of forced my friends to record a little snippet about each other. Something like wholesome, something nice. I never had a chance to really post that, um, I didn't put it in the last video, and that's one of the reasons why I made this video today. I don't want my friends to drift too far apart before seeing this video, so here you go. Um, I guess I'll start with Lois, like, hi Lois, I miss you already, I'm really sad you left and couldn't stay for all, our all-nighter, but like, uh, I honestly want to say that you're like one of the most like wholesome gals like I've ever met. You're so open to everyone around you and so willing to pull everyone into the circle. And I think that your excitement was always able to help cheer up the people around you. And I'm glad that I always had like a buddy to like sing weird songs with and like have like dance parties. And like I love your confidence and how it just like seeps out of you and with everything you do. And I know that like you will get your man's. Like even if it isn't Nick, I'm pretty sure his name is Nick. <laughs> even if you don't get Nick. Um, there are better mans out there for you who deserve you more than that like, small child. <laughs> You're really resting him. <laughs> well, I'm sure you have your reasons for liking <laughs> Lois left earlier today and I was really sad. I shed a few tears, but I'm definitely going to keep in touch with her. I love her too much. And I'm not going to forget her even though she said I'm fine, but I'm not. Uh, Lois, I love your confidence. Like when you just go into the shower and bust out singing those high notes, it's really fun and you're really good too, so that's a bonus. But yeah, I love how confident you are, how you express yourself, it's awesome. Um, Lois, you're just 
supremely confident. I don't understand like <laughs> how you do it, but it's 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 very it was very very interesting to interact with you for these three weeks. It was just like glowing with confidence. Okay, let's start with Alice, who has a wonderful butt. I poke it all the time and it's fine because she understands and she does it back, but <laughs> so it's like a mutual thing, you know. Uh, I love Alice, I'll, I'm definitely going to miss her. So Alice, um, I really love getting to know you. I feel like you're really relatable and like when we play music or whatever, it's fun to jam out with you because you always know all the songs. Um, there's a lot of things that we've talked about and I feel like um, you understand me, like there's things where we think alike and I think it's just been really fun getting to bond with you over the last three weeks. Alice, Alice, you're, be, you're gonna be a CEO, okay? Like you're going, going, you're going to Wharton, like you know, okay? Like wearing that Wharton shirt every day, you got the legacy standard, you got the brains, you got the EQ, like you, everybody knows that you're gonna succeed in life and that's what really, really matters. Um, next I'll be going on to... I'll go to Neha. So, um, Neha, I guess, like, I'm extremely grateful to you because I think you're, like, the first person who really opened up to me and, like, really pulled me into this group of friends because, like, as you know, like, I don't room with any of you and, like, at first, like, I wasn't really part of your group, but, like, I think that because of you, like, I was able to join this group and I'm extremely grateful because all of you are just extremely precious people and I'm so glad to have met all of you. And also, you're just, like, such a generous and caring person that, and you're so, like, open to everyone around you and you're willing to help others. And I think that, like, it's extremely good, but at the same time, like, I feel like if you're too selfless, like, the people around you will take advantage of you. And I want you to learn from that and really, like, learn to take confidence in what you do and confidence in yourself because I think that having that will, like, even though you're already, like, 100 times greater than, like, the people around you, just having that confidence will honestly, I don't know, just like, I feel like it'll make me happy to see you be confident because honestly, like, it frustrates you so much when you undervalue and degrade yourself and I hope that you finally learn to appreciate yourself in the future. Love you. And, and then there's Neha, my roommate. Um, I love Neha too. She's so, like, outreaching and sometimes it's a little too much, like, She's not willing to open a bag of chips before someone else does. But I just think she's really polite and she's a nice girl. And I'm sure she'll end up in wonderful places. I start with Neha. Well, you got uh, the best smile and I definitely agree with that. I definitely voted for you. Um, you definitely will be the person I'll remember who will stick their neck out for anybody, um, no matter like what you're going through yourself. Chloe? So, hi Chloe, you're, you're younger than me, but like honestly I think that like our like personalities like really clicked over this camp and I know that like we've like been like extremely touchy in the weirdest ways, but honestly like it's made me laugh so much and like you have a very nice butt and I think we are the cutest couple at this camp, no doubt about it and I'm extremely glad that I was able to like meet you and we were able to bond over our like I think similar personalities minus the fact that you're like 50 more, 50 years more mature than me, like you know, in inappropriate jokes because I still don't get that stuff. But um, I hope that you stay the same throughout your next few years, I guess, and don't be shy to open yourself to the people around you. Um, Chloe, I love rooming with you. Um, I love talking to you about guys. Kind of awkward, but fun too. Um, you have a really cool personality, interesting sense of humor, but it's fun. Um, Chloe, you're sh pretty shy at first, um, quiet, uh, like to touch people's butts. <laughs> um, but I think like as everybody got to know you a little bit more, it was um, like everybody got to know a little bit more about you and what made you interesting and your weird, really weird special, special sense of humor. Um, I'll move on to Jonathan next. So. Um, I don't even know what to say, but honestly, Jonathan, like, you're such, like, an open and caring person, and I'm, like, so glad that, like, you're always open and caring to those people around you, and you're always willing to, like, pull people in and, like, worry about others. I think that, like, your personality is one that you're extremely, like, self-aware, and you're also aware of your surroundings, and I think that's an extremely important quality to have, and I know that, like, 
you're the type of person who always keeps to yourself and wants and doesn't want to burden others, which is like I understand, but at the same time, like if you're having a bad day, if you're having like a headache, like it's not gonna hurt to like express your emotions and tell people around you. So I really hope that like you learn to open yourself up to others because there are people around you that are willing to listen. And I know that our group here, like whatever you do, we're willing to listen and we're willing to support you. So don't be scared to open yourself and burden people with your problems because I don't know, like, I know, like, you have had your, like, sad story and, like, I guess, like, I don't know, but, like, <laughs> sometimes, like, like, these experiences, like, only make you grow and I know that it's painful, but, like, sharing your story with other people, I guess, is always a good outlet for yourself. <laughs> I don't know. I'm bad with words. It's hard. John. Um, I'm really glad that I met him and I got closer with him at this camp. And I hope I still talk to him after my like, first program is over tomorrow or today, I guess. And yeah. <laughs> um, Jonathan, I love how you're always so respectful. You're like silently very thoughtful and kind and sweet. Like you're always just really polite. You just hold the doors open. You do little things that like. I think are really sweet of you. Um, finally, uh, Joseph, Joseph, yes. <laughs> Hi, Joseph. So, um, I guess, thank you for being like such an amazing person to talk to this entire trip. You've always been so open and so good at storytelling, which I know I'm very bad at. Thank you for telling me. Thank you for repeating that like 500 times throughout this trip. But I'm so glad that you're part of this group because you're someone that I find is extremely easy to talk to and is extremely open. You're also extremely caring and like bright to the people around you. Honestly, like I think that like um, through being in Cali Game with you, like we've grown extremely close. And although I know like I do get annoyed with you and like you feel my passive aggressiveness to you sometimes, like honestly, like I appreciate everything you do because um, even when I'm down, even when I'm like feeling sad, like you have a way to find to like bring me back into the group me back into my spirits you're always someone who I can jam out to music with and no matter like how gay your movements may be <laughs> no offense just kidding you know I don't mean it um, it's extremely fun to see you like be excited about things and have being, like this passion for things and like I know that you're gonna achieve so much especially through like the hours you've dedicated into your LinkedIn like throughout this trip <laughs> as well as like your your uh, willingness to like go email people and like help me partner with companies, right? You're gonna help me. Um, but I hope to like see you next year maybe at MNTSI program because we're both going to get in. <laughs> so no matter what, like keep pursuing your passions and I'm so glad to see you like love everything you do and be so kind to the people around you. Um, Joseph is behind the camera. Um, you're gonna be very, very famous one day and you're gonna be very, very famous. You're gonna be traveling the world and giving whatever talks you will be giving about your different experiences. Um, I hope that you'll remember me when you get famous. Um, you, gotta, you gotta call me, bro. You gotta hit me up with the LinkedIn connection. Um, and Joseph, I love your personality. I feel like you're extremely easy to talk to, approachable, like, when we have conversations, I feel like I can just be so open with you and you're just so easy to trust. You're like, you're so approachable and you're so bubbly and cheerful and hyper. Even in your presentations, it's, it's pretty fun. And then there's you, Joseph. Uh, you're <laughs> a unique person. I've never met someone like you before, but I'm definitely glad that I met you. And I hope we can meet up in What do you mean by unique? Uh, mm -hmm. a lot of different ways, you know, like, you're really outgoing, and I really like how you're not really afraid to do anything, and it got me to a lot of places, like the pirate ship ride, and, yeah. Alright, so, you. any final thoughts, or? Um, a little summary. Thank you guys for being my Samski, my broskies, my homies. I love you all to the moon and back. And I'm gonna miss you all when we leave, but we will have our reunion and dance party and have sad boy hours together. So 
that'll all be great. And also, we should text. Even though I'm a bad texter, but yes. <laughs> Love y'all. Any final words? Um, I mean, I really loved the last three weeks. I'm gonna miss you all so, so much. Love ya. <laughs> Any final words? Any thoughts? Um, I really like this program and I really love the people that I met here. And it was just a really good experience for me. That's it. <laughs>